Soak yourself. Be baptized. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Acts 1, verse 8. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues, as of fire, and one sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Acts 2, verses 1 through 4. To be baptized means to be completely immersed. In the Word of God, there are two types of baptism. First, in water by full immersion, which symbolizes the death to your old life when you go into the water, and life in God when you arise from the water. It is a baptism unto repentance. Jesus was baptized, Matthew 3, verse 13, and baptized others, John 3, verse 22. And so were many Christians in the Bible. Acts 2, verses 38 and 41. Ask your pastor in your church about water baptism so that you can get baptized. It is a public show of an inward change that has occurred through salvation. Second, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Many people feel that the Holy Spirit is just a force or a power that enables them to do whatever they feel like doing at any time. The truth is that the Holy Spirit is a person the third person in the Trinity. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are separate persons, although the three together are one. The Holy Spirit brings the will of God to pass and seeks to glorify God in everything. And He is powerful, but He is not given to you to curse or destroy those who offend you. For the Bible says you ought to love your enemies. Rather, He is given unto you so that you can be empowered to live the Christian life in victory. The Holy Spirit is the promise of the Father given when Jesus ascended to heaven after His resurrection from death by crucifixion. The Bible makes us know that the Holy Spirit is from God and does not dwell in a temple made by human hands, but dwells in the temple made by God Himself, your body. The Bible calls your body the temple of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 The Holy Spirit is eager to dwell in you and make your heart His home. The Holy Spirit is a sign and seal of God's ownership. Since you have been sanctified by the Word of God and you have the whole armor of God, there are many ways the Holy Spirit will help you. He will lead you. The Holy Spirit will lead you in the way that God desires you to go, leading you to God and away from sin. For as a child of God, you have the promise of being led by the Spirit of God. Romans 8, 14 Teach you. He teaches you things you don't know and haven't learnt. He will shed light on God's Word when you read and give you understanding. He teaches you and gives you wisdom to make the right decisions. John 14, verse 26 Comfort you. The Holy Spirit is a comforter when you are feeling down, neglected, and rejected, when you are going through tough times and need someone to be there for you. He is right with you. John 14, verses 16 through 18. Help you pray. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, He will give you utterance and will also teach you how to pray so that you will be able to pray according to the will of God. The Holy Spirit can also give you divine utterance in prayer and you will begin to speak in tongues. This may seem strange at first, as you may not understand the language you are speaking, as it is a heavenly language. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 1, and Romans 8, verses 25 to 27. Give you spiritual gifts. There are diversities of gifts the Holy Spirit will give you for God's divine purpose. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 11. Give you power. The Holy Spirit would empower you for service in His kingdom to be a witness, overcome sin, and be victorious in life. Acts 1, verse 8. Manifest godly character in you. Godly character will be developed in you as you yield yourself to the help of the Holy Spirit, virtues that will strengthen your faith and move you closer to God 
and help you live in righteousness and holiness. To receive the Holy Spirit of God, all you need do is to ask, and He shall be given unto you. Say a simple prayer like this, Father, fill me with your Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. I receive your promise now. In Jesus' name, I pray. When you receive the Holy Spirit, you shall be bold and walk confidently in your new life in Christ Jesus. You should desire to speak in tongues and prophesy in the Spirit. You may receive the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues immediately or later on. Keep trusting and believing in this gift, and when you receive it, keep on building yourself up by speaking in tongues.